All right, let's switch around a few laws here from tribes. We want man, me mainly. They don't get all that much else anyway. And yeah, so how will we do the war for Venice? I'll tell you how. Uh, first, we scroll past all this. Then we say claim in it, yeah? And we say send. Then we call in our old ally, who we haven't called them yet. So they maybe send troops north to help us. Defend mainly. Uh, because we're going to leave a retinue at home. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise our own troops. Not. What we're going to do instead is we're going to get a whole bunch of cheap-ish mercenaries. Like the Lithuanian band. How much gold do we earn? So these... And some other cheap ones. The Finnish band. Now we have some meat on the bones. Now we raise our own troops. Put these together. Now we raise our own ships. Which will not be enough apparently. Uh -huh. There. We can get 110. Bring these ships in here. That should give us just enough. Nope, not enough. We need your ships too, please. These. And these. And these will stand down. And these will stand down. See our balance once we have gotten all this going here. Oh no. Split of retinues. We'll have to wait for some more ships to arrive. Money has not updated yet. Just enough. So Venice has still 3,000 troops. Our alliance broke down in the midst of war. Okay, we are still earning enough money to maintain this crazy amount of troops. Child escort here with a strange choice of lifestyle has shown men a bit more attention than the women. He's sodomite. We will accuse him personally. Alright, so our ally... Did... I mean, he said he'd come, but he's not gonna. So we have to hope that our... I mean, maybe, maybe we just sail past the Venetians. They're just going to be like, hey, hey! But we need a whole bunch of troops to take this city if they have their troops here. And we can tell where he is. He's sending, yeah, he's sending his army north. He's coming to attack us here. But he's sending 3,000. That's not, that's not a lot. Not against what we have here. Against this. Um. He is sending 3,000 troops to probably land right on our shores, on top of our news. You know what we're gonna do? Let's get these few involved as well. It's not much, as you can tell. Let's get our city of Dunzig troops as well. Just bolster it a little bit more. Peasants have awaited 
their opportunity to strike and there it now presents itself just kind of as expected we're sailing past each other but it's fine we'll leave our mercenaries here and bring our own troops back home okay, he's not landing directly on top of us landing there okay he's landing most of his troops on top of us still what we could do let's see have we something really really cheap still we just add a few more mercenaries but i'm i'm somewhat confident in this i'm somewhat confident in this these are Potentially 4,000. How many does he have? How many do you have? Oops. Okay, so the Byzantines joined them for a reason outside of my understanding. But the Byzantines right now are facing their own little rebellion here. So I'm... Why are the Byzantines in this with you? Pacts. We don't even have a pact. What? What? Is it some religious thing? Okay, so I might be severely miscalculating how many troops are going to show up at home soon. We will just have to see about it. But now our retinue will be able to keep this off. And our troops have arrived here. And as you can see, there's a whole army of strong people waiting for us to arrive. So you need the absolute what? Oh yeah, some of our smaller contingents were defeated trying to reach here so yeah you need the absolute number superiority to be able to do something here if on this sadly our smaller contingent ran into these which i could have anticipated and done something about Look at that. We barely won this. Okay. Now let's split off the mercenaries. And of course I have no idea who the mercenaries are. Army of Verna, Finnish army. So we should be able to tell who the mercenaries are by looking at how many mercenaries we have. 5,900. So this is the mercenaries, these are our own. Back on the ship they go. These get the siege master. And a little bit of the bottom barrel. Just so we have some commanders in here. Yeah, we were defeated here, that's to be expected. Super surprising. Oh, we lost a whole bunch though. Didn't leave anyone standing. And now, again, we hope, against hope, that the Byzantines doesn't get any weird ideas. Ah, we need to take care of this rebellion. Thank you for the reminder, game. Again, we'll leave our uh, mercenaries down here to just deal with Venice itself. We 
could get Sweden in here. I think we should. With the Byzantines involved, I don't like it too much. The Venetians would find themselves in hot water immediately. I think they're going to come for Danzig. How are we doing financially? We're earning. Good. We have groomed an heir. Good stuff. Check him out. Oh, yes. He's brawny. I mean, he has overcome his uh, issues. He's a cavalry leader. My man. My boy. How old are we? 43. So he's 16. That's a good distance. A good enough distance. Let's see who we can get for you. Oh, yeah. Let's get you someone young and decent. She's possessed. And she's expensive. Let's get you someone less expensive, eh? Oh, we can find you someone less expensive. 120. I don't want to pay this kind of money right now. Let's go by age. All these Kuman girls. Can't forget about. Okay, he he'll find his own wife. But for now, we're going to switch over. How much campaign funds do we have? To one thousand two hundred, and we could probably kill everyone else. So, designated regent, designated heir. That's my son. Yes. He will also be our designated regent. Son, where are you? He will also be our high judge. He will not be a commander. Oh, no, he, he is going to be a commander. And he will also be our... Marshal? Yeah, definitely. We can just train troops at the safety of home. Oh, he can't be commander too. Make this man a commander. Put him on this flank here. How much does he need? Not that much. Take a bit out again. So our finances are a bit better. And we can buy him this wife now. Let's buy him this wife. He's fantastic. For what we need anyway. Let's keep a little bit of an eye down here though. And I don't think that the Byzantines are going to get involved. But you never know. See, they're, they're moving north already. They're coming. We just have a way to go. Deal with this silly revolt real quick. Why would we lose? Wouldn't lose, we wouldn't go outside the realm. Prince of Norway. And my daughter should get betrothed. Okay, fine. Let's get a non-aggression pact with the Norwegians. Guys can use someone. 
bottom of the barrel, of course. Byzantines will be coming, trust me. They are moving north. But they're probably going to die to attrition out here. Quite heavily. So we will stand down these troops. And tell our Swedish friends to attach to us. Or to hunt the enemy. Let's tell them to attach. We'll bring home our ships, but not stand them down. Married to a king, hey? Daddy did good on you, didn't he? Daddy did good on you. What will you be learned? He's not bad. He's not too shabby. But we can get you age wise. Something decent around your age. At least not bad. But she's costly, so you're not getting anyone. So what we know right now is the Byzantines are not going to come and help Venice itself. So we are pretty much having free reign down here to siege down what we need. They are looking to be in battle. This is probably their own war. Who are you fighting? Danish Holy War for Estonia. Are you crazy? You Danish fool. So money-wise, we could even get some more news uh, mercenaries up here if the Byzantines do show up in force. And they will show up, make no mistake. Maybe we can track them. Let's see, the Bezelius, he's not leading his own troops, but we can check his court. And see if maybe one of his vassals is leading troops somewhere. Sensible. How does he have not commanders? He does, but... Ah. What are his troops doing here? Yeah, I don't think they're going to come. What do you want? You surrender. Venice surrenders. Well, we will take that. Would you look at this? Alright, let's stand on everything we got. Eight levies as well. Well, would... You look at this. Let's check uh, how the trade posts look now. Okay, Gulf of Venice. Venezia is gone. They don't exist anymore. Wow. All right. Okay. I don't know if this was a good idea or a bad idea. Let's build a war chest. What can we do? We can create the Kingdom and the Duchy of Venice. Let us. So what happens with this? I wonder what happens with this. Created. Okay, this is now part of this, so everyone gains these titles, basically. 
I mean, the, whoever is the most serene doge of what we have will gain this. Well, that's insane. Danish holy war for Estonia. That's what you rope us into. All right. I don't think we can help. How many troops are you fa- oh, wow. Let's just make sure that we don't accidentally get caught in the crossfire. And also make sure that we do contribute a little bit. So we will take up these troops and just throw them at the enemy. Just so we get war contribution, that's all we want. Ah, nope. We'll wait for his army to come. There they're coming. Uh, let's make sure they do not have a commander here, which we might lose in this very silly battle. Oh no, they're coming for Dunzig now. So, we have a contribution. He can't tell us we didn't come to try. Honestly, a strong Denmark here would be pretty cool. What can we muster? What can we rustle up right now? We can raise our own. Once it was around 5,000. Let's check our mercenaries again. These are very cheap. The Sami band, but they're also pretty crap. We could get the Finnish. We could get... Yeah, the Bulgarians, why not? All right, let's group these, split off our retinues. Let's take these 10,000 to at least defend our own homelands. Okay, he's not going to siege Dunzig, it looks like. Which I enjoy. For us. Another clubfoot. Runs in the family, it looks like. You go Marshall. You're really good at that. Who can be imprisoned? Ah, oh, very good. Always happy to imprison one of those guys. End your plot, please. Check at home. Try and kill these guys. What is he doing? Cherry points. Skirmish techniques. How many horses do we have these days? I mean, it's not nothing. It's quite a bit. But infantry still makes the bulk of what we have.
know what he's doing. Probably going north to face the Swedes that showed up again. But maybe we can catch something out. Probably going to lose a bunch of trade posts here in this. Have an air. Honda. What pest thing is going around here? That is something one can survive. Probably increase our centralization soon so we can hold Venice without penalty. Just. And I want the trade post down here. We could set our troops here, or we could just attack this. You know what, let's get our fleet involved. That way we could easily and quickly ferry around. Siege master, a new siege to be done. Thank you. Wonder where they will go. Okay, they're turning around, they're coming for us. Let's see if we can finish the siege before they arrive. Get it? Finishing our siege. <sighs> okay, now we want to cross over here and hope they try and attack us across a river. Not. They seem a little bit confused. Oh, they're taking our trade posts here. Right. Take stuff. This is hurting us now. Trade pulse. Okay. I have a strong suspicion that we're not going to survive this one. There's just too many people coming. Okay, unyielding. And this guy on the flank. More ones, some leaders too as well. Aggressive leaders are not ideal for defense. For some reason I can't put this guy down. Alright, let's watch this unfold. <sighs> Wish ourselves luck! It's not going to go well, trust me. He's going to win by sheer virtue of numbers. Oh, that's okay. Uh, let's stand on all the mercenaries. And we'll want to bring back our own troops to here. 
can stand them down safely. Why would you ever do that? Holy war like that. Are you crazy? At least that pushed it. Pushed it far out. Losing that battle. No oh boy, cannot go, I am sorry. Oh, he already got a son with a club foot. <laughs> um, what should he focus on? Make him a thrift kid. All the trade posts. I mean, we're not losing them, losing them, we're just having them destroyed. Pretty much the same, isn't it? I mean, we helped, right? Yeah, you lost, you fool. Why would you ever think that works? No, I don't want... Advancements in medicine right now, thank you. We lost a bunch of commanders in that one, that wasn't cool, but time to find new blood. Oh, there. Center leader. Bad. And another siege master also. Always happy to get these. Never a bad time to have Siege Masters. Why do I not see the imprison thing? It's not really actually there. Ah, he's hiding. That's what's going on. Got it. So, some things broke up up here. And we can expand our realm a little bit further. Great. We're trying to kill someone we actually can't kill, or... Eh. Way too few people involved, but... It'll happen eventually. We actually got Venice. Still baffles me a little bit. And we got two cities out of it. That's not bad. That ain't bad. At some point, we're going to look at all that, but for now, I just want to really take care of those trade posts. And I also want to get land up here. What religion are you? Sami. There shouldn't be many of these. Oh, you assume it's good. There's a whole lot of them. What can we do with you? Do a claim on Kami, but it's just this piece. But why not clean up up here? Why not? He doesn't have many troops. He doesn't have many troops. Does he have a lot of... Prestige to spend. No, he's no prestige. Okay. So we ex 
declare two wars at once. And we press all her claims. Let's hope. Ah, she's our lover already. She has succeeded her mother. So she will certainly survive until we've pressed this. And her daughter, her heiress, is of our blood because she was begotten before everything happened. So that's kind of cool. That's big brain power play here. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you're a martial girl. Right, we don't have all that many troops right now ourselves. So I'd rather deal with this through the power of mercenaries. So let us get the finish and the... Uh, yeah, the finish and the Sami maybe. Definitely the Sami. They cost nothing. I mean, they hire a bit, but... Maintenance? Not so much. Maybe the Pecheng too? No. Let's get the finish. Set off the retinue. What we have left. These men. Will do just fine. We give them decent commanders as well. We not have a center leader? Yes, we do. Let's give him these weirdos. Massive recruitment drive in Gotland. That's good because Gotland is kind of, you know, falling apart at the seams with troops being raised so often for war. And I also don't have all that much money to spend on things that I want to spend on. Wait. This trade post was way better, wasn't it? This one has been destroyed at some war. Not good. We'll take care of all of this eventually. First, some more minor wars. Actually, do not know if I'm actually working toward anything. I mean, 45 out of. We need to upgrade our palace. I am prioritizing all wrong here. Alright, so this guy died and everyone knows why. There's still a bunch of bullbags in this family. Let's keep killing them then. No one plots do we know. Stop trying to kill me. You please. I'd like to support you in trying to kill him. And you? No, already try that. Trying to kill him, he likes us. All good. So we'll split these. And the smaller army here. Led by this guy and this guy, and the bigger army. Enter leader, and everything else is fine. Our siege masters will come into play eventually. Well, Sweden is really taken apart. Yeah. 
the kid dead. I still haven't looked up what happens if you're over your limit there. Probably nothing good. And since these are mercenaries, I also have no gripes about kind of expanding them. Leaving them on the battlefield to die. Our son Holmger wants to be a Knight of Santiago. No. Yeah, you can be disappointed all you want, but no. Magical corruption is still going on. How many kids are in this family? We are arbitrary, but who cares? I'd like to come back to technology and kind of pine about the fact that we can't use anything yet, but we will eventually. Nope. You have to destroy the holdings a little bit before you try and assault, even if you have the greatest number superiority you can think of. All right, a new house. We got some of those trade posts. Let's leave it at that for now. You. Done. And these guys we send here to siege, and these guys we send there to fight. Built our war chest, and there's currently no ambition for us because all the things we have done, we're just so good with everything. I wish seduction could give us money somehow, but then it would probably be a little bit overpowered. A wee bit. You get the other siege leader here. And we'll just siege simultaneously. Honestly, we can't stand these down. Don't need them. More money flows into our coffers again. When can we do this? Five years. Okay. Then this now we can have a new ambition which is probably prosperity peace for five years okay let's try this I think that's a good thing after all these wars now to have a little bit of peace for now sounds like a decent plan and that also means we can invest heavily in our trade posts which again, are not really yielding us anything. 
but we have them and having them is always better than not having them. Alright, thank you guys for watching and see you around.